Hello everybody and welcome back to Darkest Dungeon. We are here once again within the Cursed Estate and we do indeed have two new recruits today. These guys have intertwined stories. They're both written by TEA and they're fantastic. So we're going to get into those now. So first up we have Sean, our hive. Sean, once a well-known name in the church among the warriors and worshippers and heralds of the light, he was a holy warrior who had slain dozens of foul creatures in his time, but had since retired to a more peaceful life as a priest alongside his brother. Of course, the curse wrote havoc in the courtyard, all the nobles transforming into terrifying monstrosities that quickly swarmed the church. Sean led his brother to safety and told him to run, and then turned around and fought. He fought and fought and fought until his hands were bleeding from the tight grip of his sword, and his eyes burned from, the, from refusing to blink. He must have cut down a few dozen before they stopped coming and he fell to his knees. His body was overwhelmed with the disease. He could feel himself turning just like all the others, but what could he do? When the blood sucking, uh, the bloodlust finally overtook his mind, what could he do? He decided as his final act, he would take as many with him as he could. He rushed out into the courtyard, into the hordes of half men, half insect abominations, and he kept fighting. He could not have known how long he would fight. He would fight until his skin was shredded and bleeding and he would keep going. He would fight until his sword broke and then tore into the monster with claws of his own. And he would even keep fighting. He fought until there was nothing left around him. The remaining furs scattered into the surrounding swamps. He looked at himself in the fury he had hardly noticed how he'd changed. His hatred and zealous kept him grounded, preventing the curse from taking his mind. It was okay really. As long as he could serve the light, there was no reason to take care about his methods or his physical form. He kept it up for years, attacking out of the dark, whistling away hordes of bloodsuckers, and taking refuge in the rotting forest nearby. It was one fateful day when he smelled the blood of a fresh kill in the forest, a man with an axe gripped in his hand and a hole bored into his heart he, that he saw the hamlet. Despite all of his efforts, he was still only one man, and one man could not hold off an army, but he had seen evidence of other monster slayers around, even in the courtyard itself. If this was where they reside, perhaps there was hope for stopping the blood-sucking hordes after all. God damn, that's amazing. And we're going to get on to the next one now for Benjamin, the um, Eucharist, and this is going to be a really good one too that ties into that story. Here's Benjamin, Sean's brother. Benjamin had lived a simple yet harsh life. During his youth, he was often hungry and overworked as his family needed him and his brother to help provide. But even then, that wasn't enough. His parents turned to the church for assistance, which provided them with food and water. Benjamin's older brother, Sean, offered the church a helping hand, stating that him and his brother could assist them with anything they need in return for their help. Over the years, Sean became more and more famous for his brave act as a warrior, a path his parents feared would be his end, but his endurance allowed him to outlast any wound. Benjamin, on the other hand, worked as a priest, helping those in need with unwavering focus and compassion. He worked in the church built and funded by the nobles, but oh how he abhorred them. They led lives decided by impulse and unimpeded desires, and their powerful grip on the hamlet because of their wealth, it was just corrupt, all of it. When the curse came and the nobles turned, Benjamin saw it as a sign. It was their evil, their sin, being brought into physical form. His brother Sean told him to run, and he did. Only catching a glimpse of the combat on his way out, he was assaulted by some of the cursed nobles, surviving but feeling the bloodlust coursing through him, and he finally escaped to safety. Most men would fear fear that they would lose themselves, their mind, their body, maybe their life, but Benjamin was not phased. He was a good man. His harsh life, lack of wealth and his struggles, his faith, they made him stronger than most men, stronger than those nobles, all of them. They became monsters because they were monsters inside. He was not the same. After weeks of prayer and holy ritual, weeks of suppressing the crave for blood, he saw no change in himself. He was pure. He knew it all along, although the care still flowed through him. His travels had finally landed him in the hamlet, to a church hopefully run by good, pure men and women of faith. No place for a crusade against a place for a crusade against the nobles. Damn, these are some really, really good backstories. Holy hell. 
As soon as they arrived, the brothers wanted to get out into the thick of it and go straight into the courtyard. So that's what we're going to do. I've prepared a team here that should be pretty well equipped. We have Jonathan Baker here, our flagellant, and he's going to be going in with, of course, pretty high bleed, along with the bloody rapier, which is giving him extra bleed chance, crit versus bleeding, and higher bleed amount. And then we have Elizabeth's head for the extra bleed resist and the attack hit extra bleed. Mainly the bleed resist for this here, Reclaim. It's going to help out a lot, and also it's just really going to help with um, attacking and dealing more bleed damage. That then pairs up nicely with Sean, our hive, with this skill here, Diluting Venom. This He will suffer 6 HP damage, but he will blight for 6 points while bleeding until it's removed. So he will just be blighting them constantly for 6 damage every round. He's also got this where he can infest targets and he can also spawn infested ne uh, nests. So that's going to be interesting. Uh, then we have Rune here. He's going to go out. He's going to be our main healer even though he's only got one healing skill. With this we got last, um, last episode the Silver Syringe and the, uh, the rights for the pretty damn good 55% bonus healing. This should be a pretty hefty amount here. Um, and then also we have Benjamin here as well. He's only going out as a level 3, so he's definitely lower down than everyone else. Uh, but he's mainly coming out for two reasons. One, bypassing stealth and guard is very, very useful. Uh, lowering bleed resist is going to be nice, uh, and he's going to be buffing accuracy and crit. A lot of his things is to do with people that already have the curse. People here don't have it yet, but we're going to jump out into the courtyard and see what we can do and activate these three winemakers reserves. I think this is a pretty good team for this. Uh, I will bring out some blood just in case. We'll just bring out one stack for now. Uh, we'll bring out full food, and we'll bring out four of everything just in case. This is only a short mission, so it really shouldn't be that hard for us at all. Um, but we'll head out and see how this goes. I think this group should fare pretty well. I'm excited to use the two new classes, so let's jump on in and see what we can do in the courtyard. It's been a little while since we've been here, um, and soon we'll be going on to the next boss as well. But I thought these these two brothers, they've just arrived, and they, they want to fight back immediately. They both want to get out together and try and stop this horrible, horrible disease from spreading. Uh, we do have the ability to change over to one skill on Benjamin as well for a bit of AoE healing, although it does a lot less healing to people that don't have Crimson Curse, so that's something we have to think about. But let's jump on in. First of all, we'll go to one of our diary entries from Cell here. This is for uh, diary entry for Venus. I can feel it. A shifting of the land's energy. The succubus has murdered again. My roots have begun to spread deep throughout this place. I'm able to see almost every part of the hamlet. Almost. Two places elude me. Brian's home and Trail's small shack. Both are hidden to my eyes. The former hidden in the mist and the latter shrouded in an inky black liquid. I'm loving the uh, the Venus and Mars story intertwining. We have another diary entry from Cell for Mars coming up soon as well, so I'm interested in that. But let's jump out here and see how these guys perform. Um, I've just noticed we're using the wrong skin here. I think it was... I think it was... This one we were using last? I just want to make sure we got the right skin on there, because we did replace Jonathan recently. Uh, right, let's jump on in. Like I said, this is a very, very quick little mission here, but these guys wanted to get out and do what they could as soon as possible, so let's do that. By the way, if you didn't know, the Hive is a very, very new class. It came out just a few days ago, so that's one of the reasons I got that so early. Ooh, we've got some stress relief there. We don't need that yet. But it's nice to jump out back into the, um, back into the courtyard so early. Like, we... Feels like we haven't been here in a while, but we were actually here for a really long time recently. Nice bit of gold there. Um, hmm, I'm not sure what we do with this one. Oh, is this just the one that we, uh, that we just grab? Yeah. Activate three winemakers reserves. Was that one of them there? I think it was, wasn't it? I think that was one of them. Right. Pretty easy enemies here. Let's try out this. By the way, this guy has the um, has the curse pretty much permanently. Uh, so he gets 5% resistance per 25% HP, minus 25% stress from bloodsuckers, and extra damage versus bloodsuckers. Let's go for the attack right now. But he is completely taken by it. Completely. 10. We just did 10 bleed on a single turn. That's awesome. Nice. And there you go, he's given themselves the curse as well. These two both have it permanently. 
Two, one, one. Just do that then, I guess. Up his prot as well. That's nice. But with these two having the curse permanently. That's why I brought out the blood just in case. We're up to 11 blood now. How come we can only have a six stack and now we're up to 11 in one stack? I don't know what happened there. Either way. Got to clear out all the rooms here, so let's try it. Mm, okay. He went straight for that then. He saw that man, knew he was in need, gave him what he wanted. And we moved on. And we carry on going. But these two are constantly going to be slapping down blood in town. So we've got to make sure we have a healthy supply for these guys. But I think I think Rune here is the only one that's going to be a little bit wary about coming out here. Jonathan, he's seen his fair share of bloody battles. He, he does not give a damn. But uh, Rune here... He's He has some nightmares about what he's seen, and I don't know if this is the best place for him, but against all odds, he, he, he plucked out the most of his bravery and came out with these guys. And they needed him. His abilities to, uh, to heal and help the team. Nice dodge on that trap there. He's used to these traps. He fought here for a really long time, as we heard with his backstory. He's been in the thick of this for a long time. He knows what to expect. That's our next reserve. Wealth beyond measure. To the Bunch of extra blood here. Alike. A sack there as well. Looks like we're not even going to get too much combat while we're here. Uh, jump on that too. Lots and lots of extra food. Way more than we could possibly need. Wow, none of these rooms have fights in them? Are you serious? I'm very surprised. I haven't found any blood suckers yet. Yet another trap dodge. Good, good. Burns hold riches. Not too many riches, but some. Wow, I'm, I am... I am baffled that we're only going to have one fight here. <laughs> That's crazy. Tumble that down. These guys have the might to get through that. We've only got a single room left after this. Okay, I think he needs feeding, doesn't he? Craving, yeah. Okay, here we go. We've got some bloodsuckers here. Uh, first of all, let's give you this. Going to Bloodlust. Extra Virtue Chance. 10 crit and speed. He is getting a massive bonus here. Uh, let's infest a target. Who's got the most HP? You guys have quite a lot of HP. You have way more though. So let's infest you. Send them over. You're infested. Um, on attack, bleeds. Return to Hive. Um, I'm not exactly sure how that works. Gets, I think the, the infe infection gets stronger each turn. I think that's how that works. Um, let's just buff everyone here. And yeah, let's do that. Plus eight, plus eight. That's great. Mind your manners. We've been marked. That's okay. This should this should bleed him though, because he attacks. There you go. Look, that attack ups his bleed. Did get hit for a little bit of damage there. We might want to heal up here. We should be okay. The first coming in. You may have healed up, but that's that's fine by us. There you go, look. Huge heal on those guys. And I think here, let's have a look. Uh, so we can basically, if the next attack kills, do that. Let's just infest you for now, though, shall we? I like infesting these targets. Maybe should have got rid of his bleed, but oh well. Um, we're just going to buff everyone again. There you go. Oh, and that's a crit bleed as well. Oh, 50 damage of bleed. Holy hell. Nice. No shuffle on you, but that's okay. Little bit of stress. Not to worry. These guys can handle it. You go down. You're still cursed. That's going to hurt a little bit. Again, not too problematic, though. Let's um let's bandage that up. Let's do that. Oh my god, that just killed on its own. Destroyed him on its own, that did. He's gonna need some healing. Um Hmm. Uh let's try and stall for a little bit here and get some healing going on. Oh, it did it did bleed us, unfortunately. 
not what we wanted. We will eat a little bit as you. And then why not uh, bandage that up while we can? Well, these guys are already proving themselves. Okay, this is where being able to hit through the guard is really important here. Um, that does so much damage. Holy hell. So much damage. It's insane. Uh, so, yeah, we, we go through guard like that. And we bleed the hell out of you. Ten. I can't believe that. That's such an insane amount of bleed. Everyone heals up. That's such a huge heal as well. Um, Let's do this. I want to see how this works. Hopefully we can kill him next turn. I want to try this out and see what spawning a hive actually does. He might end up bleeding again before we get the chance. Oh, that's a lot of horror. The abyss returns even the boldest gaze. Right, nice. Everyone gets their speed up. There we go. So if you get a kill, you should spawn a hive now, right? That's how that works. There you go. Spawn the hive. So when killed, enemy party infest. Um, ooh, damn. When, when recollected. So... This is interesting. So, when recollected, I don't exactly know how that works. Hmm. This is interesting, though. I'm liking this. So, I don't know what recollected means. Let's just try and kill this guy and see what re the recollected does. Maybe it recollects the end of combat. We'll just, we'll just wait on it and see what happens. What the hell did you do that for, you fool? Just hit him for a bunch of damage. It's kind of mean. Oh, I'll resist the bleed for once at least, dude. Buzzing builder. Okay. Let's just play this out and see what... I, I don't exactly know how this is going to work. We, we can get another heal out of you as well anyways, so... I kind of want to do that first. Probably should just stress heal myself there. Forcing build up again. 90%. It's a good way to stall fighting, can I tell you that? Yay, finally resisted the bleed. Nice, crits on two people. Okay, I'm not sure. It just keeps building up. As the fiend falls. Hmm. Okay, I'm just going to attack it now. Release the swarm. Mm, okay, I'm not exactly I'm not exactly sure how that that little thing there works. It's kind of interesting. I'm sure we'll figure it out. Damn, what you what did you gr grab then? I don't know what he grabbed there. I think that removed a positive quirk. There you go. There's our last one. Okay, so. I'm going to do this on you. That that seems to always crit. That's crit, that's crit three times in a row now. Wow. Hit both of you with bleed. Good amount there. I'm going to hit you with that. Okay, we're taking a bit of hits there, but we're getting the people that already have the care, so that doesn't bother me. That hurt. That hurt a little bit. So don't worry, we've got healing next turn. Okay, good. Damn, we are getting some we get some hits here that, that hurt quite a bit. Hurt quite a bit. 
There you go, the huge heals coming in. Right. Um, let's infest you. God damn. I mean, to be fair, I'm saying his crit chance is high, but, I mean, he does have, like, let's have a look. 19% crit chance. <laughs> that might be why. Okay, no heals there, unfortunately. This guy definitely needs some more healing. I'm going to leave this guy to, to get a heal out of that. Do you know what? You can have that as well. Don't care if I bleed. We need the trade. Go for everyone with speed here. Don't go for him again. He's already low. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Oh, no. This could be bad. Oh, thank God for the dodge. Nice one, Benjamin. I'm a little worried about Benjamin at the moment. Nice kill. That can't kill, unfortunately, unless it crits. It did crit, yes! We got the huge heal. That's so good. We should get another heal here in just a moment. I'm just going to do this for now because I want to wait on the heal. I know this guy can deal a lot of damage, but look at that. 26, holy fuck. We need more, more ways of removing bleed right now. Oh, you had to skewer for a crit, didn't you? You just had to. Okay, you're going down, though, fella. You're going down. A devastating blow. God damn. I mean, he is level 5 and everyone else is level 4 here. What's this? A trifling victory. Inf Ooh. But a victory we can purposely infest people. Uh, I wonder if I can keep that after the mission. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hold on to that because I might be able to keep that after the mission. My That's pretty cool, though. Let's return to the hamlet. Now it must be carried home. That was a very interesting mission, that. I like that a lot. Seeing how those classes interact, it's pretty cool. And we got these guys all up to level 5. Unfortunately, Benjamin got very little XP for that, so we didn't level him up all too much at all. We'll get him up there, though, don't worry. I'm going to be using um, Sunasis here. Degeneracy of the Hamlet is nothing Plot quest. Destiny manifest the leper. From the depths below the accursed manor, a being of festering filth has emerged. It has infected a familiar face, but it threatens to erode the very foundation of our estate. Holy hell. Where is that quest? The Rotting King, here it is. An alternate version of the Leper. The Rotting King has made a pact with higher beings to preserve his life. Whilst he could not die from disease, it continues to grow and consume him. One room battle. Okay, so it's just the one. We just go against him and that's it. But that's level six. That's something that we probably don't want to do just yet. <laughs> that's a little, uh, little scary, I think. Uh, let's look for like a medium level 4. This this could be a good one to go for. Um, and let's try and create a team around this, shall we? So first of all, let's um, unequip our trinkets. We'll check if there's anyone new as well. But that's that, that's cool. I'm, I'm really liking those classes. That's that's pretty awesome. We got anyone new? We do have a level 4 hive here. Um, don't think we've got anyone there we need, though. That's fine. Any trinkets that we really want? Let's have a little look-see. Not that I'm seeing, really. Nothing there that's super important. Unless there's one of these that we could maybe take. Although these are getting a bit pricey now, aren't they? So, maybe not. See if we've got any common ones that just go for any class. Nah, we're good. Okay. Um. Right, let's embark. Let's create another team. And we'll go on. I think this mission here looks good. Level 4. Um. Bring out a bunch of our level 4s here. Uh, let's just sort by level. Let's have a look. So this is the wield, and we do have the chance to come across the um, come across this thing from the start. So let's bring uh, An Anugis here. He's gonna be really good here with his armor piercing. Um, hmm. Let's bring Anugis. Let's bring Eon as a healer. Eon's really, really strong. And let's have a look. See who else could we bring? Let's, let's bring Ruby as well, because um, Ruby has uh, some really good armor-piercing abilities, and she hasn't been out in a while. Wait a minute. I could maybe even... 
Let's have a little look to see if I can find her. See what level she is. She might, she might be level five, so it might not be worth doing. Um, she is, unfortunately. I was going to bring Aurora, but she's already level five, so there's not as much point bringing her as I thought. Who else could we bring along with us here? We could bring Maggie. Maggie hasn't been out in a long while, and she she does she does prefer the wield. Um, let's have a little look, see how she'd fare. Heal for two to four, seal restoration. Yeah, I think with the healing skills we have here, we should be okay. Um, and I've got a pretty good composition in terms of uh, in terms of what go what trinkets goes on who. So, Eon here, you can take the straight up healing buffs. Let me just check what your specific things are first. Yeah. Nothing particularly good. We could take that, the tw plus 25 healing skill. Hmm, is it worth it, though? His damage is already low. I don't think we'd be getting too much damage out of him anyways. Let's take it. And then we go with... Wait a minute, I need to sort these by character class again. And then we take this as well. That's that's an insane amount of healing right there. Then Anugis, you can go straight up damage. You're you're going flat damage. So we want. Wait, do we do we go flat damage or do we go really high crit? Really high crit might be better. I think we do. Let's go really high crit. So slap that on you. That on you for twenty percent crit chance as of base. That's really really good. Um. Then you can have the restoration based trinket. There you go. And what else can we go with? We could go with that for the prop and the stress relief. Hmm. What might be a little better though? Anything that might be a little better than that? I don't know if there's anything else that affects restoration that we have here. I don't think there is. Hmm. She's not got great health. We could go with prop. Blight skill chance, blight skill amount. I'd love to do that, but that would mean plus 40 stress, which would be insane. Hmm. Do we maybe just go with a flat uh Actually, let's go with that. No, because we don't really do we don't really do melee hits with her, do we? So there's not much point. Maybe we just go with a flat stress reduction there. Just have done with that. Or we go with the extra speed and crit. We don't really need crit. Yeah, I think I think we just stick with that, to be honest. That'll that'll do us fine. And then Ruby here. Um Ruby can go with flat damage, I think, because she has a bit of armor piercing going on here. If she uses this, she gets plus 32 armor piercing. And then this does uh, extra damage versus marks. So we can use this to mark targets and buff the crits received, all that sort of good stuff. Um so I think with this we just go flat damage. So let's put on the brace for 20%. And then what else can we put on for really high damage? We've got a few things. We could go damage versus beast, but that wouldn't help us against the thing from the stars, really, would it? Um, maybe we just go with, like, that for the extra crit. I think we do, yeah. That, that's that's probably a, a good little setup there. And I think this will help us out a good amount. Let's just make sure we've got the skills we want on here. Um, Buckshot there. I'm going to go with um, with the Stress Relief instead of the Buckshot, I think. I think Stress Relief will be a, bit, a little bit more useful. Let's pop into our provision screen and grab what we need. Again, full food. Um, we go with a bunch of shovels. We go with a bunch of Blight Resist. In fact, I'm just going to take it all because we might get the Nightmares. I'm going to go with five of everything else. And then we go with just all the torches. Yeah, because we, we, we might very well get our nightmares from Anguis here. Uh, I don't think we have any um, prevent nighttime ambush here, do we? I don't think anyone actually has it. So we, we can't really do anything about that. Let me just double check that again. Hmm. 
Yeah, it doesn't look like anyone even has Prevent Knights of Ambush in this group. Oh, no, we do have it there. Um, okay, I kind of have to... I know I'll have to rebuy my provisions, but I think I have to go and grab that, don't I? Just in case. So let's just sort by level. Go all the way to the top here. And grab that with Yui on. Nightmare. And quickly put that on instead of instead of this. And also something I didn't check. Let's uh, let's quickly go in and check this and make sure that everyone's skills are up to scratch here. Um, looks like that is that is and that is, and it looks like everyone's armor is up to scratch as well. Yeah, everyone's armor is up to scratch. Well, okay, that's good. Make sure we go for the right mission here. So we're going for this one, and we want to be grabbing all the food. Five of all of them. Five of everything else. Cool. That'll do. Let's jump on in. And we have our next diary entry here. Um, again from Cell from Mars. The bloodlust that flows through these lands has gone even stronger. I can feel the desire to hunt, to kill, to exterminate. It spreads like a fog throughout the streets. The end is coming, and I fear we are not prepared. Oof. I love that. I love these. They're so good. God damn. I'm looking forward to the, uh, the sort of ending of this series in terms of obviously i don't want the series to end but like how the stories all come together because i'm i think i'm thinking a lot of people are going to write some sort of like end to each person's story and where they currently reside it's going to be interesting by the way one thing one thing that i didn't account for um and and is a little bit of a problem within these areas and it's probably i'm probably going to get rid of uh change around a few skills you know um is Currently, we're in a position where Eon is our main healer, and he can only heal from spot one, which does cause some problems with Anguis here. Uh, what we could do, actually, is we can swap these two around, and then these two play the dance rather than Eon, and this should help out a good amount. Let's grab grab three medicines. We've got Curia, quest location. Um, let's, go, let's go this way first. I think this uh, this group should work out quite well. Maggie hasn't been out in a little while, but she's ready, and she's she's not scared of the wield like some people are. And uh, I think everyone else here has been out into the wield before. They're ready for whatever foes face them, including this ghoul. Right. Nice. I'm gonna go for the stab on you. Um, so we can start cooking, or we can just heal people up and buff their maximum HP, or we can blight and pull, which might be a little more advantageous for us right now. Yeah, that's that's good. That should lead to a kill here. Or I accidentally messed that up, and it's not going to lead to a kill at all. Nice hit, though, nonetheless. Was hoping to not take a stress hit here, but that's fine. One stress hit's not going to be the end of the world. It's only 19 anyways. That howl is going to be a problem, but we do have a lot of loud in them. That's why I brought a lot. Skull toss as well. Oh, nice dodge though, Ruby. Nice dodge. Right. Um, three for two. Three for three. Uh, yeah, why not? We'll, we'll just use the loud in them as is. We'll go back there. We want to be going back and forward, back and forward here, really, don't we? This isn't going to do too much damage, but that's fine. And we we cook, because this is going to heal everyone up at the end of combat. Oh, one HP left, really? You're going to get an extra attack out of this, aren't you? Oh, no, maybe not. Nice. Awesome. Right, uh, three for two, three for two. That's six stress and six stress. Honestly, our stress is low enough that I don't care right now. If it was a little higher, I might I might uh, bother to get rid of that, but I'm not going to bother this time around. Extra food, that's really nice. Nature herself, a victim to this um, seems edible, sort of. Let's see what that does. 10% healing received, that's really good. Of course, with um, with Maggie here, we're going to be finding little, little bits and bobs that we might want to eat along the way. Uh, we'll come back for that secret room, because we're going to have to come back this way anyways. We do have a quest location up this way, so we're going to have to go here anyways. 
Oh, we have a treasurer. Okay. With a surprise, there's a good chance we get the kill here. Um, damn. That definitely lowers our chance of getting the kill here. Hmm. I think we just go for that to start. Nice hit. Oh, we're not going to get it. He's going to be too far back. Oh, no. Maybe maybe, maybe Anogus can get him. Anogus. Okay, we need to cook up now. Ooh, that's a big hit. That's a big hit. Maggie, do not. Do not crit. Okay. Still a big hit, though. Uh, Maggie's going to need the healing here. Going to buff his dodge a lot, unfortunately. But we hit him anyways. Nice. Please, Maggie. Oh, Maggie, no. Maggie, no. Please live. You're fine. Good. <laughs> that was scary. <laughs> Leave her alone! Oh, thank God, Maggie. Let's get to cooking. The light, the promise of safety. Ow. These, these guys are hurting more than I'd expect. A lot more than I'd expect. Nice. Big hits there. Finish you off. I've moved us. Ah, oh, I've just I've just buggered this all up. I've moved us to the front back, and I need to heal. Um, let's heal you and steal your restoration because I need it. This has not gone well. I have messed up very bigly. Very bigly indeed. Nice. Oh my god. Nice crit. Oh, I moved him forward again. What am I doing? Uh, I'm gonna have to stall. Why? Why? Right, don't move him this time, you stupid. You stupid, stupid. Give me your restoration, I need it. Oh, I was like, don't crit, don't crit, don't crit. What does he do? He immediately crits. Yay. Fucking no, this is bad. This is bad. Glittering gold, trinkets and baubles. Okay, that hunger definitely helps. Uh, in fact, I'm gonna give you a few bits of food here, and you. Right. I don't know what this thing is, but I hate it. Try and kill these dogs before they give us rabies. How much health has this thing got? 39. No way we can kill it in a single hit, but we can do a good job of it, though. Bloody good job of it. I can't believe much stress you're on already. Uh... Hmm. Oh. Let's just start cooking here. With all this bonus healing, you heal for two. How? Even at one to five, you should be healing for like six, seven. Don't give her rabies, please. They, they are really preying on Maggie right now. They are really preying on her. This is hurting. Leave her alone. She's already bleeding. She's all she's already bleeding. Leave her alone. <laughs> My god. I can't believe she has minus 50 stress and she's on 41. Everyone else is on like zero. <laughs> How? Oh, really? We missed. You're kidding me. Oh, this is so bad. How is this all going so wrong? That helps a lot. 
That helps a hell of a lot. A devastating blow. Why did you do that exactly? Do you want to tell me why you did that? No. Give me a restoration. Wait, what? I thought this, I thought I was supposed to steal restoration. Hmm. Oh, th this is the one that I'm thinking of. I think. Right. Blight you, because that'll kill you. Or you'll resist it, because I didn't look at your blight resist being 120. Whoops. You go. <laughs> you must go. That's okay. Even with, even with a big hit stress hit there, we're fine. We're going to take rabies here. I just know it. I just know someone's going to get it. I'm just going to cook here. Blight people. Finish you. Okay, this is no longer going as bad as it was. I'm at peace. I'm at peace. Thank you for the dodge. God damn, can we please kill this thing? Okay, just give restoration to that guy, then heal him, give him more restoration. That's kind of a good combo, that, actually. Good combo for healing without having to get in the thick of it. Right, let's stress heal you a bit. Please don't give anyone rabies. Oh, I gave you an extra turn. You shit, you should have thanked me. I gave you an extra turn, and you repay me with this? Triumphant pride precipitates a dizzying fall. How dare he? How dare he? Right, we gotta take this, but I don't know what for. I guess that for now. It's not a great one to take it for, but I guess. This is going to be a run where we have to give up a lot of gold, I think. And we're going to have to deal with the snakes, most likely, as well, which scares the bejeebus out of me. Do we go secret room now? And risk getting, like, a bunch of bunch more slots that we have to throw stuff away? I think we do, don't we? We kind of have to. Finding the stuff is only the first test. Okay, so we take the we take the trapezoids for the um for the rubies. Wait, actually, what's worth more? Five hundred each. That's worth two thousand. One thousand two fifty. Three of those is a whole lot of an amount. Do you know what? I'm gonna take it over the deeds. Fuck it. Deeds and crests are going. I'm sorry. I know we need you for st for stuff, but I w I want that more. Okay. Oh my god. We've got one of them. We know where the second one is, and there isn't any battles from here to there either that, ha that have spawned yet, at least. So we've got a clear path to the next one. I don't feel too bad. But this could have gone better, right? These two need to switch around. I like them. I like being able to use punches straight off the bat. Really? Hunger check again? How much food have we got left? Oh, I just swapped them around again. Bloody hell. Um, we've only got 19 food left. They had like three hunger checks so close together. I think it's because of Maggie being a greedy little gobbler. She's uh, gluttonous, yeah. She's a greedy little piggy. Definitely don't want to touch that. <laughs> the graveyard is not for us. 80, 100. Nice, Maggie's got this. Bit of stress relief there, lovely. In Radiance, may we find victory. Indeed. Okay, that's our next one. Um, we're going to take this for... Medical herbs. I'm not going to use that. That's, that's too risky. We'll, we'll do this. Okay, at least Maggie didn't eat that food. It was only one food, but at least Maggie didn't gobble it up. I think we'll camp after this. I don't even know if we want to camp, that's the thing. Like, is it worth it? 
Really? Everything that costs bandages? Great. Yeah, I don't even know if it's worth camping, to be honest. A blazing star is born. Okay, we've got a fight here. Pretty tough one as well. Hmm. I can use that anywhere from the front, can't I? Okay, let's, let's do this now. I think that's better off, even though it moves us back into an unfavorable position. And we do that. Oh my god, another crit right off the bat there. Awesome. Exactly what we need to see. Um, ah, unfortunate dodge there. That's okay. You're not really there to deal damage, so I'm not too bothered by that. I'll do that with a high blight chance. And it pulls you forward as well, which is nice. That's going to hurt a bit, but we've got a lot and a lot of blight resist, resist um, and blight removal. So that's okay. Cares the vulnerable. It's going to hurt a bit. Having you up the front's not great, but we can move you around quite easily. Maggie's just very vulnerable, unfortunately. So, I think we go there. Really, dealt the lowest amount of damage. At least you're dead. Then, I guess we just go there to move us to the front. Got the hex on us. Nice. Dodged that nicely. Um, I think we start cooking up now. Good, good. Okay, she's gone. Should be able to kill this next turn. Does indeed, Marcos. You're right. Yeah, get that gone. Another crit. Awesome. I think we'll do an Eon team heal here. Nice armor piercing there. There, that's the sort of heal we're looking for. I'm going to steal your restoration. Thank you. Okay. Do some stress relief here. Only a little bit. We don't need much. I'm just waiting for the thing from the stars to show up at this point. Another crit. And Eon can finish this off. With just two damage. Lovely. There you go. Nice. Seize this momentum. Right, nice scout. Curia, Curia. Okay, so we, we have to go this way. Yeah, I'm not. I'm I'm gonna hold out on camping because it could be quite dangerous for us. It might not work out the way I wanted to. Ah, really? You resisted that? That was completely worthless, then, wasn't it? Nice. Give us that buff. Easy kill. No stress for us. Unfortunately, Eon is relatively useless here. Um, I'm pretty sure doing this makes us completely useless. Because then we can't use that. So we have to do, we, we have to do that. Wow. Okay, that was a good hit. 11. Good damage. Savage Maul coming in. And a bit of bleed as well. Lovely. Another one coming in straight after. Two turns in a row. Good, good. Okay, definitely need some healing here, Eon. Nice. Big heals. We'll get cooking. Thank you, Maggie. Almost dead. Almost dead. Probably should have used the piercing rounds there. Piercing rounds gets refilled on kill, so that's quite nice. Nice. And there's the kill. A victory. Perhaps the turning point. Overfeeding. Ah, okay. This is the uh This is the lower um lower speed up higher maximum HP. Although I think five percent's not enough. Because soon you get minus one speed, that's quite a lot. I think you should get plus ten percent maximum HP, really. One speed with five percent maximum HP is not worthwhile. Right, got another hag in the back there. We're set up properly for this, and the surprise makes this way easier. Oh, no, you can't expose on the back? That's a shame. Oh, well, we can at least get good kills on these. We don't need the healing from Eon yet, so we don't have to worry about pushing him back. Mm, it's not really worth blighting anything here. I think we just do that, and then start cooking. 
armor piercing. I think I'm going to go for this thing. Not got a lot of prop. We really want to kill it as quick as we can. Okay, we're going to take a lot of damage here. All in one go. And stress, of course. Luckily, the Mac Prey thing does basically no damage. But it does let them do a little bit more than they should be able to. Okay, let's, fo let's get Eon to focus on healing here. We're going to have to do Exposed here. And we s luckily, she's not stealth anymore, but... Nice. Gets everyone into a better position again. Nice dodge as well, people. This is going well. Uh, try and kill you. Single hit does it. Ruby with that musket. It's insane. She's so good with it. She is so good with that thing. There we go. Now we can leave him be and let, uh, let us fight everything else. Yes. Um, considering a crit would kill that guy, I'm going to go for him. Unfortunately, we didn't get a crit, but I still think it was worth the, worth the effort. Can we get you as well? Nice. Even more armor piercing. 35. Finishes you. Fortunately, Ruby's a little useless now. So we can't hit the front line. Damn, I wish he had a bit more damage. I know that we purposely lowered his damage, but still. And there's that crit we're looking for. Lovely. The ground indeed quakes. A trifling victory. Sapphire. But a victory nonetheless. We're not using any of them, so let's go for that. Definitely glad I did that then. To be spent. Right. We've got a few more rooms to go before we can get the thing from the stars. And any other horrors that may await us. But this should be our last room, most likely. It's not. We do have some slimes to fight. These guys aren't too bad. The surprise, though, is surprising, actually. Um, doesn't really do too much to us because we can easily re-maneuver ourselves around. There you go. That's one dead already. Slime smack. Don't think this will hit, but it will pull. And it did hit as well. Nice. I wasn't expecting that, actually. Ah, Bringing another enemy back already. That's cheap, man. That's cheap. A brilliant confluence of skill. <laughs> she loads around this. A brilliant confluence of skill. It's like she just loaded around into her gun. That's it, dude. That's it. That's a lot of blight, feller. That's a lot of blight. Oh, nice crit. Okay, this guy should go down pretty quick, I think. He's going to end up bringing some foes back. But, unfortunately, that was actually a pretty low damage hit. Uh, I reckon we can kill this guy relatively quickly. He's probably going to bring something back before we get the chance to finish him. Tends to be how these fights go. Oh, no. Maybe not. Oh, not a very big hit. Come on now. Oh, okay. He did slime smack. Okay. He killed himself. Essentially, he ended this fight for us. And we end with a crit, as always. We end on a crit, as always. Brought low and driven into the mud. Brought low and driven into the mud. Right. Last little area to go through. I was going to say, please don't say I accidentally missed it and it's that over there. That'd be so dumb. But it's, it's in this room here. Here it is. And we don't even have a fight either. It's just right here. Good, good. I'm not even going to camp because I don't want to fight the snakes because they can give you an insane amount of stress. Let's return to the hamlet and be happy with our adventure. That was a good one. These medicines will prevent the outbreak of epidemic at our struggling hamlet. Hopefully so. And we get all of these guys up to level five. That's great. We did unfortunately get to... We have to remove Tapeworm and Pale Man's Plight as well. Okay, they're, they're both really bad. Um, tapeworm for 100% increased food consumption. Considering she has a disease that does that. Okay, that's really good. So, let's first... Perfect for the study of suffering. Indeed, that is what... Uh, that is what 
um, our plague doctor does, the study of suffering. Isaac here. Right, um, so we want to get rid of that. We want to get rid of that. And it's free, so we might as well put as many people in here as we can. What other disease overfeeding? Don't really care. Bulimic, that's fine. Wasting sickness, that's pretty bad. So we've got wasting sickness there. Common call, that's fine. I didn't realize he had the uh, plague. <laughs> I think we do this with Annie, honestly. We need to get rid of both of those. I think stun resist is... Uh, Blight resist is better than stun resist. Actually, no, stun resist is, is better. Right, and then... With the treatment ward... Wait a minute. Let me just check something. Locking things in is free as well. Okay. Okay, we have to... We have to put some serious thought into this. Because <laughs> locking things in is free as well. Um, let's sort by level. See who our level 6s are. Because I know that some of these have some really good stuff. Soon as this. No. Sven. No. 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 Hmm. Plus 15 damage versus size 2 is really good. That's that's one that I'm uh, considering. Plus 15 healing skill and plus 15 healing received. I think we want to lock that in, honestly. On a healer, plus 15 healing skill is insanely good. I'm going to lock that in. I'm not even going to look at others. Um, then here we've got... Hot to trot's really good. Actually, that's really, really good. Not really good on the, that character, though. It'd be easy if I just knew them by name, to be honest. There is ones that I could remove as well that are better, but locking in good ones, I think, is, is a better use of our resources. Also, Spotted Fever, that's pretty bad. Matthew's got Swift Striker. That's decent. Seeing red. Plus 20 healing skill. Hippocratic, really good, but unfortunately, doesn't do much on Matthew there. Brawler's not great. That's really good. Um, Jonathan. Gonna take a little bit of time to look through these guys. I'm not gonna look through every single one of them, of course. I'm gonna look on key people that I think would would benefit from certain things most. Like healers from extra healing skill is the big one. Um, and ones that give us a lot of extra damage on damage classes. Is another one. Herding master. Um, hours of hours of practice brings focus results. Bonus hound control. Gains mark chance. Bear with a fight is also really good. I actually think herding master is one we probably want to lock in on Lucas here. I'm going to go with them too. Although they're not the best ones ever. Uh, we probably could have found other ones that are a bit more important. They are still very good. Let's check out who we've got here. We've got a champion Jester here. I don't think we have a level five, uh, 5 Jester yet, so that's pretty good. Let's have a little look-see. Jester, where are you? Unless we do. Oh, no, no. Nick's here, look. So let's bring in, let's bring in new Nick. Still at the end. This is new Nick. Saves us a bit of money. Um, butcher, yeah, that's all fine. For we have need of sterner stuff. This, I'm, we're not going to name her yet, but I'm going to bring in a spare Vestal, just in case. She's just going to be chilling here. Um, we might we might need her in the future, so I thought we'd bring her on. Um, Oceanborn, damage reflection. Uh, damage received as if in Murd Crab. Mm, that's not great. Mender, 33 healing skill. Uh... 10 accuracy. Okay, I'll take that. That's pretty good. Um, plus 30 stress. What the hell? That's bad. That's what the hell? Who would use that? I suppose if you want stress, but why would you? Why would you? I don't, I don't know. 
Either way, some interesting stuff there. Nothing I really want there. Um, we'll check this as well, just in case. Don't think we have anything. We do have that still that keeps coming up, but I, I want to wait until we've got a lot more money before we grab that. Yeah, I think that's going to be it for now. I hope you guys did enjoy this episode. This is another good one, and I will see you guys in the next one.